His nesting place was not my idea. It was God's idea. My idea was vastly different. The way I heard about his nesting place was outside of an abortion clinic. I had went to the abortion clinic to have an abortion uh, with the baby I'm currently pregnant with. I didn't want to be living how I was before. I knew that now that I was going to have my child, my daughter, um, I wanted to really get my stuff together. Right, my name is Caitlin Shell. I'm 29 and I'm from Riverside, California. I've got an interesting story. It all starts uh, with me being a waitress and a bartender. Well, I think the abortion issue is coming to a head here in uh, the United States. I think that the, the church should be at the forefront. One of the things I appreciate about His Nesting Place, uh, they are pro-life in the most full sense of the word. His Nesting Place is a maternity home, not a shelter. I have somebody to talk to that um, could relate to what I'm going through in my struggles. And I don't feel alone anymore. I feel a lot of love and comfort and peace being here. A lot of times women will call the ministry and ask if we are accepting. Um, I always ask the mom calling to come to our facility, fill out an application, and we'd be more than willing to talk to her. Once she arrives, um, we give her a rule book. This is the rules of the ministry that all moms have to read. Once the mom comes in, we introduce her to her bedroom, give her a nice tour of the ministry. A lot of times these moms are so excited. His nesting place provides first and foremost a church. This is what's missing in the pro-life movement. Churches I have, have always believed were intended to do what I'm doing. The spiritual part of the ministry, I think, is what makes us unique and special, being that we're not just a home, but we're also a church. So it's really centered around Christ, and uh, they wake up every morning and they do devotion. So we start in the Word, we have church every day, they have uh, Bible studies. So. It's really encouraging for the moms not to just read the Bible, but actually live the Bible. What is most satisfying is seeing these women grow closer with God, getting closer to Him and allowing His miracles to find what they need, that fulfillment of uh, maybe a void that they have and you know seeking the Lord will definitely help them fill that void. When a new mom comes to the ministry something that they should expect is to come here and expect to feel like your family because we don't treat anybody like a stranger. We don't treat anybody like we don't know you or we don't love you. We treat everybody like their family here and that's what it is. It's family and it's homey, it's comfortable and it's beautiful.
for almost nine years now. The way that I came to his nesting place was through prayer. I wanted to serve the Lord in a greater way, and I pray about it, and uh, God put me in here, um, not knowing that I was gonna serve doing what I like the best, which is cooking. I came from Uganda. Um, it's far from here. So it was a long journey for me, like having a child with me and crying on the airplane. I was expecting someone to pick me from the airport, but she didn't pick me up and tried to call her, but she didn't turn up. And it was she was the only hope for me to have a place. So. I didn't have a place to stay. Mm, his nesting place made a big, big difference in my life um, because I, I was crying, but I'm not crying anymore. Um, I lacked so many things. Um, now I'm not lacking anything. Uh, they helped me with my kids, um, with everything I need. His nesting place has been such a change for me. Um, I found love here. I found love through Christ. I found love through all the moms here that are so supportive. And the staff, I mean, unbelievable. Like, I just fell in love with every single staff here. I've just learned how to have a better personal relationship with Christ. That wasn't something that was focused on before I came here, and God's really helped me uh, when I'm struggling a lot. I live in the area, so I've known about his nesting place for a while. But when um, our church started 18 years ago, we were looking for a place that we could make a difference, and we wanted to kind of be local. And uh, our pastor, Pastor House, had been involved in his nesting place. And so the, we as the board looked at what was being done here and realized that this is what we wanted. We here at Calvary Chapel began our ministry with his nesting place primarily through Pastor Al Howard. Al Howard was involved in an organization called um, Operation Rescue and I met him there. And then after a period of time, we slowly began to run in the same direction, so to speak. And uh, our church began to help him and support him. And one of the things I appreciate about his nesting place, uh, they are pro-life in the most full sense of the word, not just pro-birth, uh, trying to uh, help uh, babies be born and enter the world, as noble and as good as that is. But they are really pro-life in a more complete sense. And by that, I mean they are helping moms not only uh, to choose life for their baby, but they offer them a place for for mom and her, her newborn and any other children to live. It's a place of refuge, it's a place of blessing. So they're providing support and encouragement. They're also helping them with life skills. You're not just taking women that need to have a place to have a baby, but you're changing lives. And that's really what's important because you're ministering to the children, the mother, and the community because you're making big changes in people's lives. And, you know, that's really what it's all about, is being Christ to those that come to your door. Calvary Chapel Mission Viejo supports his nesting place in several ways. First of all, financially, in helping them every month, faithfully. But also, we go up there several times a year to help do different projects that need to be done in the area. Painting, refurbishing the facility, just generally supporting them in a physical way. We send teams up there to help and be involved with them. And that way the people get an idea of what's happening up at his nesting place, but also actually help in a real practical way with the ministry. Thank you to Mama and Papa for continuing to dedicate their lives to keep this place open. Um, I really appreciate it. 
I know it gets really hard dealing with the type of girls that come through here, even myself, you know, we're not, we don't have the best relationship with Christ, so we still make mistakes, but um, they, they're still here, they come every day and do what they can and assist us, so just thank you. I want to be stable, I want to have my child back, I want to have a job again get myself back on my feet when I'm ready. And this place allows you to do that. It gives you the time that you need, the resources you need. The women that work here are strong, especially in their faith as well. And it's good to be surrounded by women like that living here. I believe that this type of ministry is very close to the heart of Jesus. He has a heart for those who are marginalized or struggling. He has a heart for children and I have no doubt that he would be spending time with and caring for uh, people who uh, call his nesting place home. The needs at his nesting place vary because anybody can help in any way, really. You don't have to be rich to help. You don't have to have resources to help. You just have to have a heart. For any church that's out there that's listening and you're looking for a mission field, this is one of the ripest mission fields in the world. We have aborted somewhere in the area of 70 million babies. The abortion clinic that we've kept a vigil at for the last 37 years is a late-term abortion clinic. We only have a few moments to talk to them as they're going in, but we have brought literally hundreds of them back here. And so if you're looking for a place to see people come to know Christ, help them in a personal and, a, and in a real way, come and take a look at what we're doing and see what God tells you.